fire to do the bidding of the master. Hearts are on fire to do the bidding of the master. Hearts are ignited to do the bidding of the master. Hearts are ignited to do the bidding of Jesus. Hearts are ignited. Hearts are ignited. Oh, Rada Bakusha, Teyali Zadande. Oh, Rada Bakoya, Nesha, Teyali Kato, Yalaya. Looking for the courage to start this video. I don't even know what to do. I wish I didn't have to do this. Oh God! Holy Spirit, help me, oh, oh, oh. Okay, well, I have to do it. So here I am. My heart is on fire. What can I do when my heart is on fire? 
when my heart is on fire i have to do this my stomach is turning to the point where i cannot even stand straight but i i know that i have to do this video now and not after 3 p.m <laughs> ah people who know what i'm talking about know what i'm talking about and it's not about baby christian young to the faith all of that your service just started la 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 ha 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 the world sometimes gets it so twisted maybe with the same intention like all those um teachers that then um, james wants about you know who just want to scare people into submission you don't need to scare anybody into submission right um uh, no so ha ah, holy spirit come and help me bit on my mouth right bit on my mouth so i don't say whatever and that i also say what i have to say this is all for the glory of god it's reflections it's um kind of a warning it's an exhortation father for midnight exhortation you've come to this i'm just your servant and i promised you all of me and if you say do this i do it if you say go i go if you say don't go i don't go if you say say i will say if you say don't say i will not say if you say stand and be strong and courageous i will if you say try your best i'm still with you i thank you for that father may those who have to hear this and and take it to heart and meditate upon it mm, papa thank you for my tribe growing hopefully people on mega platforms are also putting this word out there like apostle sermon i hope people are hearing and um paul washer and all of those other people right so i thank you for all of them because i'm also learning okay father thank you for everything right oh my goodness <sighs> holy spirit continue to fill me up with the wisdom and the knowledge i can't on my own i can't even stand straight papa i can't i'm so weak in my stomach but it's just so punch 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 and so yes when you say talk about it live i will talk about it live papa because this is not a platform that man gave to me and man is not to validate this platform for me or approve and all of that and yes papa i'm not going to compromise my voice and and and, and what scripture says and, and what you tell me to say or to do because i want to please any human being or institution and all of that in jesus name i pray amen yes i'm bent over and this is how i'm going to stay throughout the delivery of this message it's a very solemn one it's one that is getting me sweating it's one that i received at about 11 a.m and i was just wondering how to sit down and do this 10 a.m even but I, I had a time frame at 3 p.m. doesn't have to meet me when I haven't delivered this message. So it's some um, two minutes past two. So I better do this, right? Okay. Sometimes you get messages and you don't want to deliver them and um, you have to give an account. You might be chastised. You might have to pay a price and all of that. Or well, you might still have to end up delivering those messages and... <laughs> So if you know, you know, when you get a message, you deliver the message, the way of delivery and method and everything might, you know, you might mold it, you might fix it, you might, because you don't want trouble. But when it is through a medium like social media and um, you are on fire and you're not afraid because even if they take the page down, so what you have delivered the message and your life doesn't depend on that page because i don't seek to monetize it so i'm not bothered whether facebook takes it down or not the messages will have gone i'm i'm, I'm so radical that frankly speaking i can as well go and stay in the village and do my work there in the village and and god god provides so i'm not doing this out of fear or favor that's something cool the message is that people are beginning to hate the church much more than before People are living on mass. People are even leaving the Christian faith altogether. 
and all because of what goes on in the church I'm not just talking about church abuse and church hurts. I'm even just talking about what is presented that can even attract people and keep them. It's not just about attracting people and growing in numbers. 1,000, 10,000, 50,000, 100,000. And sometimes people are attracted for the wrong reasons. And if you stop the show, then they will go. So you have to continue with the show. Yesterday, on my way back from Yaoundé, the Lord made me watch a message um, on YouTube. Apostle Joshua Selman was ministering about three reasons. He had recently had a conference in the UK, and those were one of the excerpts of what he ministered about three reasons why people, um, what, people hate the church or something like that. It's on YouTube. You can go and find it there, and I acknowledge him there, so it's not like I'm talking about somebody's... Um, I'm copying from somebody without acknowledging the person and all of that. So, uh, I was thinking about myself when I wasn't going to church and even when I started going to church and when I left church and how I stayed away for three years and how the Lord asked me if he's the one who had hurt me and I had to realize that church is not Christ. So I had to go back to a church and I keep going back. And even if I have to leave anyone, I will not be leaving because I don't want to ever go to church again. But I'll be leaving because the Lord says I should leave, right? Okay, he orders my steps. So, um, uh, the first reason he, he, he gives, which is very, very um, logical, is that there are character inconsistencies among the leaders. And this is disappointing to Christians. Um, the Apostle James in um, James chapter 3 from verse 1 and so he says not many people should be teachers because when we talk of leaders whether we are called pastors, prophet, whatever we are teaching we are sharing some information that people will glean from and it will probably help them because all these people are called to these ministries to equip the saints meaning the children of God right so James says not many of us should be because we will be more strictly judged and what about people want to say yes leaders are also human beings eh? before you ascend there and that is why you have to pray so much for yourself more than you know the, the ordinary lay christian because the 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 mantle and the assignment and the what you are carrying is heavy you see apostle selman there like that he who talked about this you see only the way he looks you can imagine the kind of life he lives and his regiment and all of that. He's there, he's getting to 44. He's not yet married. Who knows if it's his covenant with God? I don't know. I'm just saying. You know, people might sometimes want you as a leader to just be an ordinary and just be leaving you anyhow, going even to Batango House and stuff. But you cannot afford to do that. You are leading the Lord's people. So your character has to be very reflective of that of Christ. And even the shortcomings, even King David had, yes, but how repentant are you and how honest and transparent and full of compassion are you, both for yourself and for others? Or you just want to lord it over people because you are a leader. Secondly, don't mislead people. You cannot be a leader. You call yourself a Christian leader. And all you are doing is gimmicks dramatics so that people can keep coming and and giving money so that you can be making some money you know grow your church make people to spend 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 and that's all they are getting you're not giving people the word of god no you go to some churches or you watch some of them online i don't even do 15 minutes 10 minutes the drama they even the way they worship is out of this world this nightclub it's nothing about the word of God there. One, two things and then the rest is about them and their pursuits and the need for private jets and all of that. If you are not chasing private jet to spread the gospel, but so that people hear how you went for vacation here and then all of those things, what's the whole point? The Lord might not stop you, but he will deal with you at the end. And so some people don't go to church, you know, especially after the pandemic. During pandemic, the people were not going, right? Everybody was watching their health. And after pandemic, a lot of people are like, go and do what they I can watch that thing online. So they just wait until when the sermon starts, the message, they get anything from it. If not, they scroll, go to another one. 
you can put ear blocks and you're going all over your house doing your things and still listening so why should i go to one where they are going to harm on me and then ask me to give and all of those things it can only be out of of love and feeling the presence of god in that place if not people will not go for for a while i was also just living like that. i was like see me trouble oh i can stay in my house worship my god there go online look for any message that speaks to my spirit study my word do all of that and i'm good to go is god going to ask me which church i was going to honestly he says we should not forsake the gathering of saints but is it only in some physical structure that saints gather we need to be careful i'm not a leader in any church but i'm a leader in my household and on this platform i'm leading this ministry that time where i'll be saying hey, Papa, no, 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 no. i'm ready i'm on fire i'm his servant he chose me nobody has to tell me oh did you really hear from god no no we leaders have to help people to have a better relationship with jesus and to love one another not to worship them revere them man of god man of god man of god bless me bless me bless you see the one blessing you or is god he has an anointing but who knows whether the anointing is still or whether it was genuine or whether he himself is bothered about it and all of that when he said do not make idols do you know that by all what is honoring or revering and doing all those things that people do to their men of god lie on the floor let them walk away all of that yeah replacing god with them okay oh. number two the absence of intelligent life applicable teachings that offer real life solutions to human problems i'm so grateful the way the holy spirit leads me to some teachings online so sound like from paul Russia, Vodou Boshan, scroll and even uh, Charles Spurgeon, all those people, yes. I don't want the drama, I don't want the ah, I don't want all of that. Nada, I said, some people don't go to church because why they consider some of that thing shouting. Sometimes you belabor the point until people even forget what you were talking about. You want to impress. Ah, are you impressing Jesus on people, or you are impressing yourself, your voice, your your your, your dressing? your this your that and all of that and so some people say ah, i'm not going there waste my time leave go and stay somewhere for four or five hours somebody is just going up and down pacing and doing all kinds of things and stuff what are they telling me what are you telling me about revelations what are you telling me about jeremiah what are you telling me about the book of james what are you telling me about jude what are you telling me about the letters first peter second peter first john all of that what are you telling me about Oh my goodness, Joshua, Deuteronomy, oh my good numbers, books that I have learned on my own. Oh. I wasn't taught to, it's not that I'm beginning to go to a church where there's some real Bible studies. Before, no. Just talk, 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 and nothing that sticks. And nothing that can, that is practical, that I can, I can apply to my own life. Let's talk about relationships. Not that people should not have relationships. People will have relationships. But those relationships should be godly because this, 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 this. But let's talk about it. If we don't talk about it, you think you just came me away from them? No. I'm a human being. Let's stop. And let's understand why it's good to wait. It's good to abstain. All of those things. Let's stop. And where else? We gather in church. Let's talk. People still have some respect for the church. So if the church cannot bring up this topic, talk about mental health and use examples. Is it not Jeremiah who was running away from uh uh is it Jeremiah or is Isaiah who was running away from uh what's that her name? Jezebel went and hit someone and said, Father Beck, I have had enough, I want to die. It was that no suicidal ideation? This is mental health awareness month. How many churches will talk about mental health? They only be telling you that it's spirit, evil spirit. So people will not go, people will listen online, people will watch. Some churches actually have more followers online than they have in person. People don't go there. People at least just tune in to maybe participate in the praise and worship, get the message back now. Nah, drive and go there. Go and give my money and all of those things when I don't even know what they're doing. And maybe sometimes not even the message. They just want to see how you address and all of that. That's why you will see some videos that so many views but very few likes. 
people didn't stay on to the end people just viewed him went teach people give them sound teaching and show them how it can be applicable don't just be talking 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 use examples from your life these people that i'm quoting i was just listening to them again oh, there were some answers and questions and answers and stuff each of them voodoo bush boshan all of them were using examples from their own lives and being honest but Russia talks for example how he was living before he became a christian born again and the land the jiboshi are written books all of that no we want the one way people make like that perfect they have no wala they are clean they are good they don't talk about themselves they only condemn talk about people hellfire brimstone all of that ah what about come on to me oh you are weary people are weary people are weary there's so much going on in the world now people are poor not only poor in spirit poor 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 like poor 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 people are hungry people are thirsty no intelligent life applicable teachings yeah well because people also have itchy ears they want drama they want bah, 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 bah. i'm seeing america i'm seeing europe i'm seeing germany bah, bah, bah. visas 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 babies 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 my miracle money bah, 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 bah. cars hummus huh? goods but that's not good though that's not what the lord wants so and the times are dying oh. Jesus is not coming back as a savior. He's coming back as a king, as a judge. Pamper the thing anyhow you want to pamper. But those who have ears will hear. Number three. The absence of a spiritual power that backs and defends our propositions based on the scripture. Greater works you will do. People want to see those great works. Not just hear the, the talking, blah, 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 blah. and the real ones, not the ones that you go on stage and buy new uh, crutches and wheelchairs and all of that. And then bah, people get up and clap, and then after that, uh, somebody even raised the dead one time, you know. And uh, people said that that was fake and all of that. Ah, is the Bible who says it too? Uh, there are very many fake prophets out there, and you need to test or uh, test the spirit and all what you hear and all of that. So it's not me, don't come after me get the message leave me alone okay i wouldn't want to normally do this because i don't want me i don't have that energy for anybody but if the lord says it i will do it unapologetically time to pamper has passed i'm on fire zealous and so this is the exhortation walk your salvation with fear and trembling not be me talk it's in the bible walk it with fear and trembling say once say forever say that's your problem oh uh -huh. don't mislead other people walk your salvation yes you have been saved but are you walking it not only is the enemy roaming but it makes no sense to be born today and 10 years later you are still sitting on the floor still sucking breast from your mother with milk taking having milk from your mother's breast what after 10 years Everybody will say you are a witch, you are no banjo, you are this, you are that. So yes, you are safe. Walk. So that you can grow to move to the point where you can help other people also. And without faith, we cannot please God. And where does faith come from? From hearing. And you have to grow. And you have to ask the Lord to help you. Stop leaving your salvation and those of your children into the hands of pastors prophets apostles etc 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 or even bible school boot camps etc 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 me i was just writing me what the spirit was telling me to write stop leaving your salvation to them when you go to school they give you homework why because they don't have forever to teach you everything they want you to go and study some on your own prepare for your exams come and write read on your own get other textbooks read listen to other messages do bible studies online do do something pray don't only pray when you go to church worship all of that that's how you work your salvation you know what they teach some children in bible school do you know do you know what they do to some children in bible school am i the one to tell you that little boys were molested and raped and all kinds of things in the, the cyber churches back in those days maybe it still happens who knows 
and little girls in, in, in when they went for Bible school in some country, all those uh, youth leaders there, each of them took one little girl and did some kind of things. Those things are on YouTube, they're everywhere. So stop. Sometimes you want to be very careful. Don't even just send them anywhere just like that. Ah. What you're listening to, be careful. Not everybody who calls themselves, now people can even buy those titles. So, pastor, prophet, apostle, um, evangelist, teacher, bishop, archbishop, all be very careful the lord is raising and raising and raising his end time army and he will continue to do so and if you don't want to save him look even a donkey he can use so if he's just giving us the opportunity and we are fooling around because we are afraid of man what will man say what will man do <laughs> okay oh. you are afraid of man not of god no me, oh. me i'm afraid of god though who can just strike somebody ananias and Sapphira dead in one minute one second who's in one second what are you talking about man ha is man giving me oxygen no me oh. me i'm afraid of god oh. i fear him i revere him he's just as loving as he is just and he's had enough of rubbish going on in the world in his name stop calling his name when you build your company you call it a church you gather people you make people come do all those flyers and all kinds of advertisements and all kinds of things and flamboyant the thing as if it was a nightclub and blah 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 blah, blah. and you barely call the name of jesus christ not to talk of make an altar call not to talk of oh my goodness you want people to go out and evangelize have you finished to disciple them all of those things i'm not talking about any one church in particular but i don't care if any one church comes after me if you recognize yourself as being one of these kind of churches that's on you this is a call for you to repent the book in revelation the john rise to several churches about seven of them test them to their face repent those are churches that were that some of them paul created and they were doing good but whoa, what kind of one thing or the other happened some whatever wolves in sheep's clothing slipped in and all of that and sometimes we don't want to talk we say no jesus loves everybody god loves everybody we don't want to drive nobody huh he drove the crowd when he went to heal uh, uh, Jairus' daughter. Why did he drive them? They were making a commotion, making noise, even mocking him. Ah, that child is already dead. Leave her alone. So yes, Jesus drove. He drove people out of the temple. He whipped them. Stop talking rubbish. He will drive you. Get behind me. I don't know you. You say what? Get away from me. You deliver people in my name. Me? Did I send you? Did I even know you? Do you have any relationship with me? Let's go back to the drawing table start by seeking him seek first the kingdom of god do you know jesus do you have a personal relationship with him is he your lord and savior okay thank you holy spirit i've done what i had to do now i can stand up it wasn't easy but i'm so grateful yeah there comes a time in a servant's life and a young preacher whatever where you have to get out of your comfort zone and do this kind of a thing and it's just as convicting to myself right so may the good lord help us i'm looking forward to um joining my sister soon for bible studies and stuff like that i'm working my salvation with fear and trembling anyway thank you so much father have a good thursday afternoon everybody god bless us all